Yo, what's poppin' guys, and welcome to another Scratch Tutorial. <clears throat> Before I even get started on this one, if you want to know how you can get your screen, your Scratch layout, to be dark, or look like the 2.0 layout, uh, go watch my last Scratch video. It would it was posted, if you're watching it the same week this was uploaded, it was posted on Tuesday. Uh, October, oh, what was it, 6th? I think it was 6th, hold up. Yeah, October 6th. It was uploaded October 6th. If you want to know how to do that, that video shows you exactly how to do it. This tutorial um, is for a uh, is for one of the members, one of one of my fans. His name is JKYT, JK underscore YT. Uh, key binding. How to select your keys to whatever you want. For example, if your character wants to move up, you can set that button to whatever you want in game not in the code in the game like if you want your arrow key like your up arrow to be up w c u t y b n v q x whatever you want you can set that i'm gonna show you exactly how to do that today so without further ado let's get into it um execute that cat and name it whatever you want i'm going to name it key binding uh binding tutorial all right are you ready I'm very ready. So start, get that save in there, get, get that habit of constantly saving. Um, so yeah, let's get started. All right, what we wanna do is we will make a button, right? Well, let's start by making a sprite. Let's start by making a basic little guy that, that will be able to be moved, okay? If you wanna know how to make basic movement, I have a tutorial for that too. That was posted uh, September 29th, go watch that, it's a pretty good video. So here's our little guy, we'll, we'll name him Guy. Um, nah, we'll name him Little Guy. Someone make that a rapper and just like, like, make this their character, just a black square. Anyways, let's quickly, quickly set up a little thing. When is clicked, forever. If... Oh, I need to actually do. So start by making a variable right now. Make a few variables. One called up. One called down. One called left. One called right. And then make any other variables you want for any other kinds of move. For example, maybe if you have a jump button, make a jump button. If you have an attack button, make an attack, or not, not a jump button, a jump variable. If you have attack, attack variable, Anything you want to be able to key bind, go ahead and make that those right now. And those do not have to be cloud or for this specific sprite. Let's go ahead and make those. Those are all I need to use just specifically for this tutorial. So, uh, go grab an if key. Uh, let's set up up first. If key up pressed. So obviously up right now is zero. So if we tapped zero, we'd move up. All right. So if we uh, change, well, nope, change y. Y is up and down. Change y by three. So let's see if we tap up, nothing happens. But if we tap zero, oh, I actually need to play it. If we tap up, nothing happens. If we tap zero, we go up. Are you seeing where this is going? Hope you are. Uh, and then if key down pressed, change y by negative three. But now they're both zero, so what happens? Nothing, because it's trying to go three in both directions, so it doesn't move. Get it? All right, cool. If key left pressed, change X by, uh, so left would be that way, so that'd be negative three. And then if key right pressed, change X by three. But now again, they're all zero. So what I'm going to do is, oh, not that, is right at the beginning, I'm going to set up to whatever I want it to be. So like. Whatever your default keys are, put this right right here. So, and then our down would normally be S. I'm doing WASD. Left would be A. And right would be D. So, boom. Sets that. And now if you look, all these are set as the buttons. So, now we can use WASD to move our character around. And if we tap zero, nothing happens. So we'll make a little button. 
Doesn't need to be super fancy. Okay. I want to make it look kind of nice. Yeah, sure. And I'll say change keys. Oop. There we go. Change keys button. Now, if you want to have a bunch of them, like if you wanted to make four of them, and like name them up, down, left, right, and then when you click that, you just do that one. I'm gonna do this, and you do them all at once, just because that's that's the me thing to do. That's what I want to do. So on this right click, go to there, and show when this sprite is clicked. Uh, we're going to ask. Here's where the here's where the important part comes in. Shh. Uh, it's going to be um, <clears throat> like how how do you want to work, make this? Um, Upwards movement one key. <clears throat> All right. Now, obviously, when you you wouldn't be able to do stuff like shift because shift doesn't have like when you hit shift on a when you, when you hit shift in a text box, nothing happens. So it needs to be something that one clicked actually does something. So upwards movement one key and then what it will do is sorry people messaging me on discord shush um then what we'll do is we will set up to answer boom now it sets your up as whatever letter you clicked so all you have to do now is do downwards movement one key set down to answer now you may be thinking well won't it set down to the same answer as the first one no because every single time when you recall a question the answer changes so like this answer will be this and then when it asks a new question the new answer uh dis it gets rid of this answer however it already set up so it doesn't matter if it gets rid of the first answer because up is already set so set down to answer um left movement one key set left and right movement one key and again you could set this up however you want to make it do what it wants like you can set this i'm just doing this in like the most basic way with one button but obviously you can make it a bunch of buttons you can make a whole menu of stuff to do and this is just like this is it you, you did it it's done so when you start when you start um he runs a WSD here. To make it simple, I'll also show the sprites. I'll also show the, not the sprites, the, uh, the thing, um, the variables for what your stuff is. For those of y'all that actually come onto the project and use the project as help too. Okay, so here we go. Here's our buttons right now. Shh. Get, no, get out of here, Discord. Shush. So here we go. We got this little square man moving to WSD. We hit change keys. It asks upwards movement. What do we want our upwards movement to be? Let's say we want to change it to like, uh, I don't know. Let's change it to. Let's let's make our keys not W S D but T F G H. So we want our up to be T. And then you hit enter. And that's downwards movement. G left movement. F right movement. H. And now look, it set all these. And now when you use that, it works. When you use W S D, nothing happens. Pretty cool. Now you might be wondering, Deku, what if I want to make it arrow keys? Then here's what I'd do. Here's what I would do, okay? It's it, it works real hard with this one. It's not very good, but however, make a variable called arrow keys, right? And then what I do is, hold up, my cat's about to attack my other cat. Give me a second. This is going to be bad. It's about to go down, guys. 
well, I guess we'll listen to what happens. <laughs> Anyways, so here's how I do, right? Oh boy. So, we have our arrow keys variable, right? So what we'd want to do is when we hit the change keys, um, we can ask like, start by asking set keys to arrows and do like yes or no. And then just run an if else and then an if in there. And uh, do this. I like to do this just so if they say yes, if they type yes or just do the letter yes. So like yes, yes, copy, and no. So like just just in case they didn't quite understand what I meant by lion. Um. Uh no sensing. We need answer. So answer, 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 answer. So if no, then just do what we did before. If you, if they don't want to set to arrows, just put in that little bit in the no. However, if the answer is yes, what we want to do is what we will do is we will set um, arrow keys to one, right? Otherwise, when you start, set arrow keys to zero. When arrow keys are one, you will be using arrow keys to move your player around, okay? So it starts off with nothing and your keys are WASD and now when you uh, when you say yes or no to this do you want arrow keys yes it sets your arrow keys to one however your up and down stuff are still set to WASD right now what we'd want to do is come to your little guy right and then what we'll do is an if else so we'll do if here we go if arrow keys equals one meaning we will be using arrow keys just just duplicate all this and then change all this get rid of all these things and make this up down left right and then on this next one you'll need an if and then grab a not if not arrow keys equals one then put in what you just had before of your up down left right all that good stuff so this should work use WASD you want to say no and then you set your things to whatever you want look now my things all messed up because I didn't actually do it in the right order but Okay, cool. You can set up your arrow keys like that. But, however, do you want arrow keys? Yes. Set it to 1. Now, WSD does not work. However, arrow keys does. Now, let's say you want to take that off now. Alright? So, when you're in the... When you're... Okay, in here. Uh, just simply put right here, right before the upwards movement question. Just set arrow keys to 0. Okay? So, you start... WSD. Change keys. Do you want arrows? Yes. WSD no longer works. Arrow keys do work. Click this. Do you want arrows? No. What do you want for your upper movement? Up, da, da, da. And now that works and arrow keys no longer work because arrow keys were set back to zero. So there you go. There's your basic key binding tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, then like it. If you didn't like it, like it anyways because, um, you know, JK underscore YT got his, got his video request done. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, JK underscore YT. I hope you, I hope this fulfills your needs and now your game can be, uh, your game progress can continue now. Uh, while you're at it, why not subscribe to my channel? If you enjoy my content, then help me out a lot. Go down in the description, join the Discord. There's cool stuff there. Um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.